it on? You can yes. hear me? Hi. So, we are at Crystal Mall in Burnaby, British Columbia. Okay. You know, just a little ways off Vancouver. So, I would say this food court here is a bit of a hidden gem. Hidden gem, hit and miss, or more hidden gem. There's quite a few good places here. We're just waiting for our food. We got food from a few places, one of which is the Shanghai Dim Sum House. Super popular, well known by locals. Maybe if you're not from here, you might not know. But their Xiaolongbao is the best. Their fried Xiaolongbao is also very good. And they have a lot of other items on the menu. I'll show you that in a bit. Also, trying out a new place this time. It's called uh, Huashi Noodle Specialist. I don't know too much about their food. I'm trying out their cold noodle for the first time. Um, but again, we'll see that in just a bit. So stay tuned. And we've got one of them items ready. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here. Don't expect any steam. I ordered a spicy peanut cold noodle and I realized that it's actually tough to open these backwards. Oh no, we got it, we got it. Okay, <laughs> okay are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I'm feeling that. Okay, well, bone apple tea. I'm very excited. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> <laughs> Quite good. Okay, I've had cold noodles before. Okay, actually, hold on a moment. That's good. Mm. It's quite good. I've had cold noodles before, and sometimes when they serve cold noodles, they're not joking. Like it's cold, like almost borderline ice cold. These are more, a little less than room temperature, but not cold, cold. It's also a cold day, so maybe that's relevant. Anyway, the flavors are really nice. There's a mix of a peanutty sauce, as you can see right here, with the noodles, which are just soft enough, but not mushy, complemented by the, uh, the pork, I think. Mm. Yeah, the pork's got a good salt. Overall, it's a really nice dish. If you are looking for a hot noodle, you know, they have a lot of other options, but this is something unique that I haven't seen in a while, so I went for this. Would I recommend this? Situation. It's not a definite you have to try, but if you are curious about the dish, I think you'll like it. Now this is what I was telling you about, okay? Obviously you can see the sanchi pie over here. These are deep fried soup dumpling buns. Got a bit of juice inside, a hard bottom shell, and a lot of tasty. This is the real star. This is what everybody knows about. Everybody who's anybody. So these are the soup dumplings, the xiao long bao, xiu long bao, Cantonese folks. Uh, and the vinegar here. But really, really good. I'm gonna start with this one over here. These buns should technically have a warning, like a caution hot warning, because they're filled with hot soup. And they were just deep fried in oil, if you can see that. See that sauce coming out? So I have a strategy. It is great to suck it out, but if it's really hot, you could end up burning yourself and then you're gonna have a negative experience. So you can just poke a hole like that. A little bit bigger. I poke another hole just to Hold it in place. It's the noob way. You can, you can pour out the soup that way. Look at that. No burning yourself. Let it cool down a bit. Give it a blow. And then. I, w I wish you could have experienced that too. I mean, come here. Then you can. But like, ooh. How much was this? Seven fifty. Seven fifty. 750 for five. I haven't eaten enough food yet because my math isn't working, but that's a good deal. Okay, enough enough sauce. Kind of treat that as like foreplay, you know, get yourself into it. Take a bite.
like I said, you have a soft top combined with a crispy bottom layer, and you can still see some juice in there. And then we'll top it off with a bit of vinegar. Haircuts. I think it used to, yeah, it's about like 13, 15, something like that, as you can see. Um, yeah, but um, great food, great prices. I just hope they stay at the price ranges that they are. As you can see, there's a lot of restaurants here. 